Go down. It sounds like something out of science fiction. A floating robot that can travel thousands of miles powered only by the sun and the sea. It's called a wave glider, and it's the invention of Bay Area startup Liquid Robotics. If you're going to go out and measure ocean currents to decide where you're going to put an oil rig, um, or you're going to go out and do a pipeline study, or you're going to go out and do some kind of uh, acoustic collections, or you're going to go out and measure water chemistry, right? Those are the kinds of things you can now do with an autonomous platform right from shore without having to send any humans out. Liquid Robotics autonomous wave gliders are currently being used to track weather patterns, monitor ocean activity, and even detect oil spills around drilling platforms. Activities typically reserved for expensive research ships or buoys. The floating sensors are not cheap, though, costing upwards of $200,000. But, says Vass, that's 10 times less than a research ship, and they work around the clock. We get our propulsion from the waves. And because the waves are always moving, the ocean is always moving, we always have thrust, and that gives us an unlimited range. The wave glider's got the float that says to the surface, and then this glider, which is hanging down below, uh, about 20 feet below. Um, the glider has a row of wings. The way we actually move without using any gas is by turning wave motion into forward motion, and it's these wings that do that. So this is one of the wings we've got. The glider has a bunch of wings on it, um, and the way they work is when you pull them up through the water, they tilt at this angle, they move up and push forward, and then when they move down through the water, they rotate and they move down and forward. And so you keep moving up and down, up and down, and swim through the water. The combination of renewable power, extended range, and remote satellite control has helped Liquid Robotics sell around 130 gliders so far. The company monitors and controls customers' gliders from its headquarters in California, and it expects to get 100 more in the water over the next year. Today, if you look at uh, the market for ships, buoys, and satellites, along with other autonomous vehicles and, and uh, ocean communications, um, we think that's in the order of oh, 70 to 80 billion dollars, let's say. And with the right configurations and operations with our robots, we think we may be able to address half of that market at least. Ambitious goal, but first the company needs to turn a profit. To help expand its customer base, Vast says it'll start renting out gliders as well. Also coming are upgraded models, allowing multiple clients to share a single glider. Meanwhile, the company just finished sailing a fleet of gliders from California to Hawaii. They aren't exactly speed demons. It took a few months to make the journey. Not bad, though, considering they made the trip without using a drop of gas. For CNN Money, I'm Mason Cohn.